What's up everyone and welcome back to another episode of Retail Nightmares. Today on Retail Nightmares we take a look at Karens that didn't respect the drip. What this means is Karens that didn't respect the other people and their behavior was so poor that they had to get recorded and exposed for it. Now we have a lot of Karens who didn't respect the drip so we gotta get right into it. Our first clip today comes from a lady who isn't happy with somebody driving their car so she's pulled them over. She claims that the gentleman driving the car is speeding but he claims that he's not speeding his car is just loud and that it sounds like it's going faster than it actually is. She tries to take down their plate but he's standing in the way. Karen thinks it's acceptable to physically touch and move him so that she can take down his plates and take it to the cops. This is obviously illegal, you can't physically move somebody to take down their plates, but I will admit the gentleman recording her did not help the situation and antagonized her a few too many times and I don't agree with a couple of the things that he said. Let's have a look. You're a joke. Am I? You're a joke. Okay, well put me on Facebook. I'm a joke. You two assholes are heading up on South Shore going 50, 60 miles an hour. And no you proof. both, there's no proof. I know. But you think it's okay and it's funny. But it's you, this is a neighborhood. Funny. Do you we live here? We weren't even going fast. My are car's you? just loud. So is mine. You're both going fast no, and we you weren't. know, you were racing up. No, we weren't. We oh. weren't racing. Oh, How would we be so racing the same lane? You're so full of both of you, and you know it. Okay. You're a joke. Okay, good. I'm a joke. We'll see who's you have funny. Nothing. You literally have nothing better to do Let's with your see. day. Let's see, DTL. How about if you move then? If I got nothing to prove, why don't you show me your license? You're a joke. Really? You're a joke. Oh, you two lose control of your cars because you're won't such lose hot shots. We won't lose control. Oh, really? Yeah. Are you going to pick your little nose ring, honey? See how cute you are? <laughs> well, you're going to show me your license. Show no. it to me. Don't touch her. Don't touch her. <laughs> oh, really? What are you going to do? Get out of my face. Get out of your face? Get out of my face. Well, then get off South Shore. Get out of my face. Because I'm going to the cop right now. Go Good to him. I will. So as you can see, there is a lot of back and forth and antagonizing and a lot of comments and remarks that didn't need to be made. I do think Karen is more in the wrong than they are as she has literally pulled them over when she is not a police officer or any sort of law enforcement and she doesn't have evidence that they were speeding. At this point, I do think Karen is more wrong than the other gentlemen, but things take a turn for the worse in this next part of the clip when they start getting a little bit too confrontational towards each other. Let's have a look. It'll You'll probably take you like- two minutes. Three hours to walk there since you're so wet. Oh, really? Get out of my face, kid. Get out of my face, kid. You you're think a you're joke. so hot shot? You're a joke. Really? Yeah. God, I wish I could kick your little f***ing smart Oh, okay. So harassing. Okay. I am harassing you call because you then. two. Call the cops then. I dare you. Oh, call the what? cops. Call the cops. Oh, see? Call the cops. I dare you. Call the cops. Let's call see. Call them. Royals. Call them. I call them. Have, I don't have to call them. Call the cops. See, DTL. Oh, yeah. Do it. I am. Do it. I am. Cool, do it. You're a joke. Okay. You're a joke. Do it. Woo. Okay, so this gentleman was at a stop sign, and this Karen pulls up next to him with her phone out. So obviously, she is using her phone while driving, but Karen was not happy with the way that this gentleman was driving his Mustang. She pulls a citizen's arrest and pulls him over to check over his license and insurance, but obviously, he is not going to comply to Karen's rules and demands. Karen gets really upset by this and blocks his car by standing in front of it. At this point, Karen has her car blocking the back side of his car so he can't reverse and she's standing in front of his car. She claims that she has nowhere else to be and will be standing in front of his car all day. Things get a little bit heated when her legs start to get sore and she decides to start leaning on his car. Let's have a look. I could tell the cops you were sitting on your phone at the stop sign. Wasn't on my phone. There you were. Hello. You're sitting there for five minutes. Hello. Hello. And you're on your phone. Yes, I'm on my phone right now. Yes, you are. Yes, I am. This is what a psychopath grandma looks like. Okay. And that's what a you looks like with the baby. Boy, are you smart. You got your head up your ass anyway, Buster. Do you even live on this street? No. I'm no, you're cutting through. You don't live here. Oh, that's too bad, and neither do you. Neither do you, airhead with the frippy lippy, stupid haircut. Wipe. Hey, I don't care. I, 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 I have no place. 
place to go. I have no place to go. Don't lean in my car. So as you can see, Karen is more than happy to be recorded and she is currently blocking his car by standing in front of it and blocking the back of it with her car. This made for a very weird standoff as the gentleman had nowhere else to be and Karen makes it clear that she has nowhere else to be either. But things take a turn for the worse when her legs get sore and she starts leaning on his car. Let's have a look. I'm not leaning on, on my car. I'm not leaning on, on your car. car. I'm not leaning on, on your car. car. I'm not leaning on your car. Don't lean I on my car. Leaning on your car. Don't lean on my car. I'm not leaning on your I'm car. I'm stand in front of my car. Oh, good. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm going to close my door anyway so people can go past. Are you right. getting your piece of It's nicer than your f***ing Jap. Okay, so this gentleman is currently house sitting in a over 55 retirement village. Basically down the street from the village there is a park where people can go and play and such. And the lady that lives in the retirement village believes that if you are not over the age of 55, then you shouldn't be accessing a public park. She claims that the park is more for looks and that people don't go there. And if you're going to the park, that it's not your park and that you must be new to the town and not know the rules. The gentleman house sitting is very confused because it is literally a public park. It is not connected to the retirement village, but it's not even really a retirement village. It's just suggested that over 55s can live there. Karen gets very upset about this and makes a huge scene in front of other neighbors trying to make him look like the bad guy. Let's have a look. Would you go a minute? I'll talk to you for a minute. Yeah? I just want to... I just want to know uh, why, is that your dad, the, the silver-headed guy? No. Okay, so is that your mother? Yeah. Okay, well I don't have a problem with your mother or anything. I want to keep the peace, you know what I mean? And you guys aren't aware, but this is supposed to be like a 55 and up retirement area. And everybody's getting freaked out in this park now. There's a lot of residents. You know what I mean? And a lot of residents. Yeah, a lot of residents. And, and there shouldn't be people in this park. So this should be a vacant park? No, it's, it shouldn't be a vacant. You're not grasping on 55 and up. It's a retirement area. A retirement area. So as you can see what she is claiming in the video is it's not just the place that the gentleman is currently house sitting is a retirement village but the entire area and everything around that area is labeled as a retirement area. Obviously this isn't the case as the park she is claiming is a retirement park is literally blocks away. By her logic she is assuming that the shopping malls, parks and other public places are also property of the retirement village. Basically what she is doing is every time a new person comes to areas that is close to the retirement village, she goes and confronts them and tells them that they're not welcome there. She desperately tries to get a reaction out of this gentleman so that she can make it look like he is the bad guy, but when he doesn't give her a reaction at all and is simply just confused, this happens. Let's have a look. I just want to know uh, why, is that your dad, the, the silver-headed guy? No. Okay, so is that your mother? Yeah. Okay, well I don't have a problem with your mother or anything. I want to keep the peace, you know what I mean? And you guys aren't aware, but this is supposed to be like a 55 and up retirement area. And everybody's getting freaked out in this park now. There's a lot of residents, you know what I mean? And, a lot of residents. Yeah, a lot of residents and, and there shouldn't be people in this park. So this should be a vacant park? No, it's, it shouldn't be a vacant. You're not grasping on 55 and up. It's a retirement area, a retirement area. See, it, you, you're, I'm only uh, house sitting.
she's one of them. Talk about causing problems, she likes to stir trouble with her mouth. I've seen it on many occasions, especially with the utility people. Thanks for watching guys and if you have enjoyed today's video, please remember to subscribe and turn on notifications.